you guys, so here we go. We've just robbed the Diamond Casino. We're exiting out of the back of the building, and I'm going to be showing you guys the best method for escape here, okay? So, first things first is we need to go forward, climb this fence, and head to the horse racetrack, okay? Now, there's going to be some guys shooting you off to the left. You don't even have to worry about them. Just stay far off to the side of the bushes and keep jumping, okay? Now, there's going to be a SWAT van up here, and there's going to be a couple of SWAT dudes. Do not shoot them from far away. If you shoot them from far away, there's going to be a whole bunch of other police officers that are going to show up, and you don't want to have that happen, all right? So we're just going to wait until we can get over here a little bit first. We want to get over here. Don't worry about them, you know, shooting at you. Just uh, eat some snacks or whatever. Put on some armor. We're going to wait until we get over here, and then we're going to waste these dudes right here, okay? Oh, jump the fence. Didn't mean to do that. Now there's going to be some guards down here. There's going to be a couple SWAT dudes down here. We're going to go ahead and just keep on jumping and annihilate these dudes. Now we're going to go forward, okay? Just keep jumping. Jump over this fence. Now, right in front of you should be your getaway vehicles. Well, at least that is for us, okay? So the getaway vehicle should be just like right around the corner up here. If not, maybe you would think one about grabbing your own vehicle, like a cop vehicle or something like that. But basically what we're going to be doing here is grabbing these getaway vehicles so we can get into a car. And then what we're going to be doing is heading towards the helicopter. The helicopter, by far, my friends, is going to be the fastest and the easiest way of getting away from the Diamond Casino after we have just assaulted it with a heist. <laughs> so we're just going to go down this main road right here. You should not encounter that many police officers technically, but you might. Who knows? Here's the police station. So we're going to go up here and we're going to go left. There we go. Perfect. Jump out of our cars. Now I'm going to show you guys the path that we're going to be taking. We're going to jump up here. So we're just going to jump on top of the, like a whole bunch of stuff just to get on top of the building. Watch out for this jump right here. That can be dangerous because you could jump off to the right right there. All right. Now there's a couple different ways of making your way up this little, um, you know, thing right here. See this vent? Just jump this way and you can go here or you can go off to the side right there and jump up like my friend is doing right there. Because going this way kind of sucks. And if you were going to go this way, I would suggest, you know, pointing a gun or something like that. So that way over there is a little bit quicker, just to let you know. And then here's the helicopter up here on top of the police station located right after we've completed the heists. So trying to lose the cops and like get a getaway vehicle and then like well, what a lot of players would do is they would like actually go under the tunnels. But you guys can notice right here, dude, we're like not even getting shot except, except my friend running. We're like not even getting shot in the helicopter, dude. And then check this out. Booyah! We're all we have to do at this point is take the helicopter, elevate ourselves to an elevation in which we're not gonna get messed with too much, so we gotta fly over the mountains. Because most likely you guys chose the, I would say, the hard part or the more um, place where we have to go further out for the extraction, or at least dropping off, uh, you know, the goods that we just stole, whether that is the money, cash paintings gold and or the more rare thing to steal out of the diamond casino which is actual diamonds my friends but check this out so here we go we're already losing the cops at this time and we're just gonna keep traveling just like this okay so we got our drop off point over here so you guys can see uh we're going to lose the cops in just a moment's time we do have five stars which does take a couple minutes to lose even like once you've actually lost the cops are gonna be looking for you and then watch out while you guys are flying and if you see any helicopters like police helicopters trying to come towards you just try to maneuver off to the left or the right so you can just get out of their way so on the way out to your extraction or your drop-off point I would say you're not gonna be bothered with any more police and once again it will take a couple minutes to get rid of these cops as you can see we still have five stars but with the helicopter, super easy, super fast, way better than any land vehicle that you guys would potentially find. And you know, I've done this a thousand times and it seems like some people just don't know exactly what they're doing, which is why I just wanted to go ahead and talk about this method right here, which is the by far best way of, you know, getting out here. So there goes our five stars. Finally lost those as soon as we went past Sandy Shores there and we're in the mountains. 
So at this time, all you guys would have to do is just make your delivery. And what's really cool too is you should not be getting shot a whole bunch to where you're going to be losing a lot of your money or anything like that. Then bam, there we go. So when you're racing there, if you guys enjoyed the video and it was helpful, hit like button on the way out, subscribe for more content, and thanks for watching. Hope the video was helpful. My name is Gravesite, and I'm out of here. So peace.